Hey guys, Paul here with another episode of Late Night Games. We are once again playing Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. We had just been given a... I just tried to feed off of a box. Yes, I think I'm still half asleep. Once again, we are playing Vampire the Masquerade, joining our intrepid vampire, Tremere Fledgling, Loki Ramos, as, uh... We find out what it is to be a vampire. We've been advised that the noise upstairs is just a bunch of gangbangers. No one worth worrying about. So let's head upstairs and uh, take them out. I'm going to go to the second floor. Nice. Crouch. Be all secretive. Let me activate Auspex. Allowing me to see through things. Hey. Hey there, buddies. Not sure why you don't see me, but you know what? I'm cool with that. Because I could use some blood. Now, I know earlier we found out we're not supposed to bleed innocents dry, but these are gangbangers. And thus, apparently, not Where innocent. Going, now that I've got all that extra blood, I'm gonna blood purge him. Wait until he's done purging, and then feed off his remaining amount of blood to regain it. Because, you know, I'm a bastard like that. Here, vomit half your blood. Now I'll drink out the rest. What's this? That's not what I wanted to do. I did not want to shoot it. I wanted to grab it. It's a baseball bat. And it's equipment. Yeah. <laughs> now this is the way vampires should fight. That's it, kiddo. Just like that, and it's all over. Everyone slinks back to their corners of the city for the night. That's it? It's all over? Not that that's not exactly what you just said. Until the next night, when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back. Parry, dodge, spin, and all that, and so on, and so on, and so on. So, this is normal? Well, to be honest, we came at a, well, an interesting time, let's say. The Camarilla, the Sabat. Now, in L.A., these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred at stakes down in California long before them. Now, we got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there. A lot of fear. A lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. You're losing me here, Jack. Uh. I think they're looking for you outside. Guess you've got a cab to catch. Was hoping to fill you in on a little bit more, but... Nah, hell, you'll figure it all out. Sure, and here's your gun. If you make it back, stop in at the last round. It's this bar downtown here. I'll fill you in on the politics. <laughs> now that's the stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> Good luck. I have acquired two experience points. By pressing the character editor, you can access the character sheet and spend your experience points where you see fit. Unspent experience points will stay in your available experience pool. Now, if you're wondering why I gave him back the gun, when I had first been given the gun at the very end of the last episode, he did say, I want this back so don't go dying. Now, I want to stay on Jack's good side because, well, he looks mean. And here I am in an apartment with a Lacuna Coil poster. That's kind of cool. They're a really good band. If you haven't ever heard Lacuna Coil, definitely check them out. They're worth it. Blood packs. Three blood packs. That's handy to have. So in my inventory, I've got my wallet with no money. Your wallet's empty, baby. You're so broke, you can't even afford to pay attention. That's lame. I've got my key to the pawn shop lodgings, room 508, which is my room, I'm guessing. My lock pick. And three blood packs. 
I also have my crowbar, my bat, and my light clothing. And that would be it for my inventory. Let's take a quick look around my apartment. So I got a boom box. Hello, LA. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Thought yes, you we are. Into something comfortable. I know I have. Mm. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to The Dead of Night. The only girl who will spend the night with you and leave first thing in the morning, guaranteed. <laughs> well, looks like the boards are lighting up. Aren't I the popular one? Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, moo. Who will be the lucky caller? You've got the first shot at Deb tonight. So, who do I have to pleasure of speaking to? Hi, Deb. Hmm. Vigo. Apparently, I can so, start dismantling Vigo, my house. Why are you up so late? Um, I'm working the late shift here at the uh, yacht club. Uh huh. How many boats do you own, Vigo? Two, actually three. Uh, one is pill bottle. Hmm. Sorry if I stop talking a little bit. I'm actually trying to listen to this radio show because I find it quite entertaining. <laughs> she was totally playing him for a fool. He doesn't own any yachts, nor does he speak Italian. And apparently unfazed by his high-speed accident, Rivers' agent released a statement stating that Rivers' crash was due to a mechanical problem, and that the studio is not pursuing legal action against Rivers for the trademark aid's destruction. Huh? That's really cool. Last times I've played for this game, I've never actually tried using the TV or the radio or anything along those lines. I wasn't as interested in the background world as I've grown to become lately. And I really like that they've got all these newscasts. Like, that was someone who emerged from a horrendous accident unscathed. I'm guessing he's not quite human, if that's the case. Uh, note. Hey, the password for your computer is Sunrise. Keep the cash in the drawer. It's yours. I dropped you an email with my address. Come whenever you get settled. Mauricio. Mercurio. Sorry. At your convenience, please come and visit me in my home downtown. I'll leave this guide to you. Dark blood, our curse, slightly the slight the. Dark blood, our curse, alight this verse. Such power I sense in one so young. Come find me when burns the mystical sun. M. Strauss, Tremere Regent. Okay, so the local leader of my clan has left me a poem to come find him. Hundred bucks, an envelope containing a bit of cash. Nice. Not gonna complain with a hundred bucks in my wallet. And let's uh pop my computer on. Alright. I wanna go to email. Password is sunrise. Mercurio will contact you when you arrive in Santa Monica. Waste no time in meeting with him. SL. Next email. Penis enlargement. Watch the girls come running. Call today. 1-800-555-STICK. Okay. Looking for that lazy-ass ex-husband who, who's late on his alimony payments? How about that jerk who knocked you up? Look no further with Arthur Kil Kirk pa Kilpatrick's amazing crime pewter. You can find almost anyone with a record. Ah, so apparently there's someone in town who has a computer I can use to search for people. Uh, just come on down to Arthur Kirkpatrick's bail bonds. If you've got the dead beat, we've got the technology to find him. And this is actually from Mercurio. Hey, welcome to town. Come on over to my place once you get situated. And we'll talk about what you'll need to get the job done. I'm going to pick up some explosives right now. Some... Astrolite, I should be back by the time you come over. I'm at 24 Main Street. I'm number four. Walk to the end of the alley, and my building's the next one on the right. M. The game begins. A pawn is moved from a friend. Well, that's kind of cool. I'm going to now quit. I find the font on the computer is a little difficult to read. 
But the ability to actually, you know, type commands and whatnot is kind of cool. No. Close the door. I'm going to pick this lock. I'm going to pick the hell out of it. Failed. Let's try again. Blood buff. Still failed. Okay, so a blood buff isn't enough to get me uh, through that lock. This door's open. Now you may wonder why I'm randomly breaking into houses. Come on, it's an adventure game. Everyone randomly breaks into houses. I mean, look at Link. He's the hero of time, and he breaks into more houses than any hero I've ever seen. Oh, there's my mailbox. It used to belong to someone. Nothing in there. Keegan, Moore, and Murrieta are my uh, three neighbors on this floor. Oh, wait. I had those two experience points. Let me uh, quickly spend them as soon as I get through the loading screen. You got some change, mister? Hmm. Here. It's not much, but I hope it helps. Just very nice. Thank you. Humanity gained. And now, in turn, I'll take some of your blood, but not all of it. Thank you. Take care, young one. Hmm. I guess that's why it's called the Pawn Shop Apartments. It looks like it's above a pawn shop. That makes sense. Someone there ain't doing so hot. That door's locked. Pawn Shop. This is where I'll head first. Uh, hey, hey. Yeah? Uh, how's it going? You, um, looking to buy or sell or... I'd like to sell something. Uh, really? Well, let me see what you got. I have a gold ring. Looks like a class ring. Go North Bray Tech. Oh, that's his items. These are mine. Um... Looking at my stats, the tire iron does less lethality, but also has a lower negative to my feet adjustment. I'll get rid of the tire iron. And is there anything else I don't need? The watch. It's a replica of a much nicer watch. Whoa! Did not mean to do that. Thanks for coming back. What you need? Nice store you got here. Thanks. You, uh, new to Santa Monica? Yes, I am. Is it that obvious? It's not a big surprise. We get new faces through here night after night. Used to be more tourists, but now... I don't know, man... It's more like drifters. Why do they come here? Beats me. Santa Monica is dead. I don't know why anyone comes out here anymore. I see. I'd like to buy something. All right. Here's what we got today. Okay. So all he's got really is the tire iron I sold him, a ring, and a watch. Let me, uh, ask him if he sells back. weapons. What you need? Do you sell weapons? Um, no. Not, not really. Sorry. You will sell your weapons to me. Well, okay. Hey, it's cool. 
I'm overstocked anyhow. Take a look and feel free to come back anytime. Thanks. Let's see what you have. All right. A knife. Combat requirement four, so same as the bat. Damage potential 14, lethality 9. Some knives throughout their entire existence are never used for any malicious purpose. This ain't one of them. Or I could buy the Colt Police Positive Special, which I don't have enough for. Cheap, small caliber handgun used by startup hoods in alleys across the country, also known as a purse gun. I'm going to go with the knife. Because I'm a big fan of get up close and cut them. No, I don't want to punch. I want to use my knife. There we go. Although, I can't cut through the fence. The fence is like cutting a wall. I should probably put my knife away before I go outside. That's... Oh my god. Okay, now to check my stats. So, my humanity is nice and high. I'm going to do what I can to keep that as high as possible. Because if it goes down, it's bad. Um... Okay, so to upgrade any of my attributes to a second dot costs four. To update it to a third dot costs eight. My abilities cost three for a second dot, three for a first dot, six for a third dot. My disciplines cost five for a second dot and ten for a third dot. So with two points, I can't really do diddly squat a medical clinic that'll be a good place to get blood later mm. hey uh, yes is there something I can um, help you with what are you doing waiting for that blasted tow truck I called an hour ago I'd rather not wait another second in this part of town this time of night a dreadful place don't you think you should listen to my mechanic by German, he said. Could I persuade you to help me out? My wallet's been stolen. Afraid I'm a little short on cash right now. I'm so sorry. Oh well, maybe you're looking for a little company? I'm happily married to my work. And I have a wife, too. Sorry to bother you. Good night. I bet you if I was a female, I could seduce him. I'm curious who this bleeding man was, but I see ladies. Hey, baby. Looking for a date? That all... D <laughs> all depends how much. For you, honey? 50 American dollars. Best money you'll ever spend. I promise. I'm sorry, I'm a little short right now. <laughs> That's too bad. Come back when you've got the money. You won't regret it. I'll see you soon. I like her tattoos. They're like pointing to her shoulders saying, Bite me here. Bite here. There's too many people though and I have to maintain the masquerade. So I can't just go eating people at random. I have to eat them in back alleyways where they can't see me. I'm entering an Elysium, which is a home of a vampire. Well, I'm just going to go for a wild shot and say this is the apartment he went into. This is apartment four, so this is, I'm guessing, Mercurio's place. No, move. He managed to turn the lights on. And clamor his way to bed. Or couch. Those mothers ripped me off. I'm dying here. Oh. You want me to call an ambulance? What? No. I got a record back east on heat day. Don't touch that phone. No goddamn cots. You look pretty bad. You sure? No cops. Are you Mercurio? Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm... Oh, I 
feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shank me. The bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. Would you stop crying like a girl and tell me what happened? All right, all right. Jeez, you think you were the one laying here with his guts hanging out? It was that freaking chemist. Guy mixes up speed, his crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of his guys, they come out of nowhere. Junkie bricks hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a freaking horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those bricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. Vamp blood? Right, you're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster, makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me, you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. Did you learn anything in that time, genius? Hold on. You think I'm some amateur? I got their number. The small-time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Maybe four or five of them. The one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. How do I get there? Laying in a pool in my own blood, and you want friggin' directions. Right, all right. Uh... Down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach, on the right. <clears throat> Those better not be some of my last words. Anything else? You gotta, you gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in, I don't know. I wanna kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. Is there anything I can do to help you? Yeah, if you could... Oh, Something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. I'll bring something back for you. Uh, one more thing. About the deal. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, I can help you out. I'll think about it. Goodbye. That poor bastard. You got anything in this house worth taking? He's got a phone. Nothing worth taking. What about neighboring houses? Electric keypad. No handles. No hand. How do these people get into their apartments without door handles? The hell? How do half the doors in the hallway not have handles? Alrighty, so he said to head to the beach. Hey, what's this guy doing? Hey, no. <laughs> beach access. Hey, baby. Looking for a date? No, thanks. I'll pass. That's really not very attractive at all um yet yeah, no hey i've seen a lot of shocking things in my time on the force but that pier that's the kind of thing that makes you lose your faith in humanity i gotta say it's the second worst thing i've ever seen poor hmm. bastard down there is torn in two by the oh. looks of it you think someone tied him to two horses and raced them in opposite directions oh god about three years ago, we were in Melon, about this guy on the beach. But, like, I don't know, never attacked. Shark bite? No, uh, I've seen shark bites. It's just something different. Whatever killed him, you know. The head was missing, the hands were missing. And, and there were these huge slashes. Damn. Bullshit. No, no. The guy was literally slashed from him. Wow. Um. Those cops? I've seen some shit. I mean, uh, ugh.
So I'm going to try to play this as human as possible. Um, also, I'm going to try and be nice to miscreants and an asshole to the rich. Up there, through that chain link gate and up those stairs. What? Those men you are looking for. How did you know I was looking for someone? Never mind. You wouldn't understand. Weird. Well, what's new? Thanks. Listen, it's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt round here, all right? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. Uh, you see any thugs come through here carrying bats? I should try up there, through that chain-link gate. A couple of real nasty-looking bloods come out there a couple of times a night. Cool. Now, who are you guys exactly? You mean you ain't here to run us off? No, why would you think that? We're getting pretty sick of it. Someone citing domain, or in the worst case, is hunting us for sport. Uh, what's wrong with you? Dunno. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, hell, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, alright? We seem to be the runts. The mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. I'm new to this myself. What's a thin blood? <laughs> I'm damned if I know. Well, I know you don't want to be one. You seem to be in the lead. You tell me. For starters, what clan are you? Clan? See, I've heard all that before, and, and I still don't know what the hell anyone's talking about. I'd like to know just what I've become. We'd all like to know just, just what the, the hell kind of devil's contract we've apparently signed. How'd this happen to you? I've just come to town for the surf time. Seems like years ago, but it's, well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. Please continue. She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself. The way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. Hmm. Whoa! Look at the time. I'm out of here. Alright, so just to give you guys a little bit of background on what a Thin Blood is. In the world of uh, Darkness Vampire Universe, um, the first generation of each clan is the original vampire of that clan. Uh, the Tremere is the vampire named Tremere. Uh, Ventru is Ventru. Gangrel is Gangrel. So all the clans are named after the first vampire, the most powerful vampire ever of the clan. The children he had, the basically people he turned into vampire, are known as second generation vampire. Their children then are third generation. Now, I believe, according to most people's versions of World of Darkness, when they create stories, the second generation is completely missing and all that remains is the third generation. No one knows where the first is or the second is. That all being said, let me crouch so I can't get seen as easily. Um, when it comes to vampires, each generation down, you get weaker and weaker. But there's more of them. It's kind of like descendants. Um, I'm not 100% on the number, but I believe that the... Help ya. Relax, I'm here to buy you-know-what from you-know-who. Okay, you can go on it. And if you really want to make my night, go ahead and start some shit in there, because I would love it. I'm sure your personality has nothing to do with you being out here. Is it just me? Or... Does this guy's face remind you of the one character from Glee? Um, the blonde-haired kid with the big lips. Just a little. Hey, Damn asshole. Slashy, slashy! Slashy, slash, slash! 
Keep on slashing. Whoa. Haha. -ha. All right. Well, I meant to feed on him. Accidentally let him go. Oh god. Let's uh use blood heal to heal my wounds. And then I'm going to switch to blood purge. Go ahead, vomit your blood. And whatever you don't vomit, I will slash out of you. Hey, what's that? Did I just find myself a pistol? If I can aim for it, yes. Nice. Whoa. Good thing you guys can't aim worth shit. Later, science man. Get back up. More ammo. There's the astrolite, the explosives. As I said, I didn't mean to come in here guns blazing, but I also uh, didn't mean to let go of the guy when I was feeding on him. A money envelope. This is where they keep their stash. I believe that's Mer Mercurio's money that he was talking about wanting to get back. So, as I was saying, if I'm correct, um, the last vampires actually known as vampires are the 12th generation. Any children of the 12th generation, the vampire blood has become so weak that they lose a lot of their abilities and they become known as thin bloods or, well, yeah, thin bloods. They're like the scum of the vampire world. No one likes them at all. Um, however, I'm not 100% on this either. I have to do some looking into it, but I'm fairly sure that thin bloods also are not subject to the weaknesses of vampires to the same extent. Like, for example, sunlight doesn't kill them immediately. It just hinders them. Oh, look at that. I could have turned off all the power to the place as a way of sneaking in. Live and learn. I could have done that mission a lot cleaner, but <laughs> it was effective. I killed everyone inside. I remain fairly intact. And uh, they don't. I call that a win. Hey, let me down. Let me down. <clears throat> Let's go the rest of the way down. We. Oh, brother. I'm gonna put away my knife before people get pissed off. Bradley, no, no, you are going to China. What are you talking about? Why is he smiling? Is it the father? Is, is it the father behind him? You're not making any sense. I don't understand. Oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I see nothing. Disregard what I see. Come on. Tell me more. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Can you tell my fortune? I'll pay you. Fortune is not your destiny. All of us are unfortunate. Every time I speak, the future plays out before me. And I mean, you want it over and over until I cease to dream. I know your questions. For one hundred dollars, I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. I need money to leave this place. Uh, 
100, I'll give you 20. Here's my question. Then ask again. Who can I trust? The man on the couch. The lone wolf. All others. What's going to happen to me in the next few nights? The Prince of Sheep is not who he says she is, and is going to die. Dinosaurs? She is. The man with the crest. The voice in the darkness. Boss. Chinese brothers. Full of lights to the end of the tunnel. Where do you want to go? Uh, yeah, I'll come back later. That's rather cryptic, but at least I know I can trust Mauricio or Mercurio and Jack. And nobody else. Well, I kind of like Mercurio. Also, to give a little bit of uh, insight as to what Mercurio meant by vamp blood keeping him strong. In the world of Vampire the Masquerade, just having your blood drank doesn't turn you into a vampire. Actually, being turned into a vampire is a fairly finicky process involving drinking each other's blood in large amounts, blah, 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 basically replacing your blood with the vampires, yada, yada, yada. However, there's also something known as a ghoul. A ghoul is a normal human fed vampire blood, and the vampire blood gives them a boost. It basically makes them a metahuman, uh, like a superhuman type person, but it's temporary. Ghouls also naturally are obedient to the person who made them. In the same way, most vampires, especially when they're first turned, are unnaturally obedient to the person who turned them and to any of the higher generation in their clan. As time goes on, this obedience becomes less forced and more courtesy. But when the vampires first turn, it's like innate in their blood, if you will, to obey those higher of a higher generation within their clan, especially their sire, the one who turned them. Now, my sire's dead, so that being said, there's no one I'm forced to obey, except for higher level Tremere, which I haven't met yet. Aw, oh, damn, did you die on me? I got the astrolite back. Yeah? Did you waste those sons of bitches? Yes, they left me no choice. Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? Uh I did. Here it is. Oh, you're a lifesaver. I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. What am I supposed to do now? You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabbat interest. What do you know about the warehouse? I heard a lot about that operation. Well, I'd love to get in there. Get my hands on the equipment they've been unloading. But it'd be suicide to walk in there. Got a small army of trigger-happy types and they're all packing. I don't know, maybe, uh... Maybe what? Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tung's hiding out at the moment. What? Why? Tung's laying low because of Therese. Therese Borman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tung are feuding. I don't know the details. My takes that Tung thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're going to have to get Therese to call off the feud. Oh shit. So, do you know what about this Therese chick? She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking broad for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. I think I'll get going. Thanks for the info. Goodbye. And that, folks, is where we're going to end it. We've gotten to the point where we've met Mercurio, our contact in Santa Monica. And we've gotten back the explosives he's so stupidly lost. Our next mission is to head to um, meet this Therese person. Loki Ramos. Three. I'm keeping my save files separate in this one in case something goes horribly, horribly wrong. 
Uh, -dum -bum -bum. All right. So as I said, next time we'll be heading out to meet Therese. Uh, first, we'll have to find out where she is. I guess I could have asked Mercurio, but that would have been too easy. Huh. Loading screen. Alright, so... The Galley Noir. Uh, the medical clinic. Instant cash. So I have no idea where we're going to go to find this Therese person, but we'll find her eventually. That being said, uh, join us next time as we continue doing our thing as vampires uh feeding on people and eating things i kind of i want to feed on a cop next time our goal is to feed on a cop just because that would be badass anywho check us out on facebook or twitter to uh keep in contact with us you can also leave any comments you have down in the comment section below hit a like if you like what you're seeing subscribe to keep up to date on all our future releases i've been your host paul for late night games we'll see you next time and thanks for tuning in